How to change default currency in AutoDS. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to change the currency or default currency into your AutoDS. So the process is going to be very easy and simple. We are going to head over AutoDS.com and then we are going to head over parameters. But here we need at least that the AutoDS or it is going to be a must that the AutoDS is going to be connected to a HL channel like uh, Shopify, Wix stores or whatever. So we can go ahead and head over here the settings and then we can go ahead and head over the store settings. And when we want to change the default currency, we cannot. Why? Because it is going to be related as you can see on the store. So the store is going to be having this DZD currency and we want to change it. How we can do that? It is going to be very simple. We're going to head over the store that is uh, going to be connected to this. We are going to make sure that we have the initials of the store here, same as these. We're going basically to head over the settings of the store. From here, we're going to select the currency. So we're going basically have to head over here and select the uh, currency of this specific, um, uh, let's say here, um, store. So we are going to put it, for example, as Euro and you're going to have in, for example, much make good choice. I'm going to have this and it is going to be set up here. So basically it is going to be changed and the process also is going to be having, as you can see, an effect or an impact from this one. It is maybe going to take a little bit of time to change from here, but it is going to do the same thing. If it didn't change, you're going to need to delete your store and then reconnect it again. So it is going to change that. Uh, specific currency that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one